Today in this YouTube video, I'll show you how to turn a free wooden pallet into an awesome rock crawler obstacle that you'll have heaps of fun on and it's super simple to build. The great thing is wooden pallets are free. Businesses leave them outside all the time so but there were two photos of me putting them in my car. My car's only small, but I made it work. So, look, pallets are free, they're great. Uh, the only problem is you do have to take them apart, which can be a bit of a slow and tedious process. Uh, so here I've just got a bit of a time lapse of me taking them apart with a edge to hammer. If that's all you got, that's fine. Uh, crowbar will definitely make it a bit easier. Um, Depending on what type of pallet you get, uh, it will be easier to take apart. Uh, so I've got a pine pallet right now and they do tend to kind of break off a little bit in some areas. Well look, it's not the biggest problem, but it does ruin a bit of the wood that you could be using on this. So if you do get a pine pallet, just be careful when taking it apart. Alrighty, so about to show you the progress I've made. So, look, there are a lot of nails involved, um, but as you can see here, this is the progress we made. Uh, so there's all the bits of wood. Bit of a mess, so there you can clearly see it's broken. So, another issue was this pallet had kind of been left out in the rain, so that's partially why it was a bit shitty taking it apart, but yeah, so this is the final product, that's how I'm leaving it, so that gives us a good foundation to build our obstacle on. As you can see, it's held up by just the blocks everywhere, so yeah. Alright, so with my pallet, one of the blocks had kind of just come detached, so just here I'm putting in three nails to put it in place, that's all you have to do if uh, you're ever in this situation. Uh, so in this clip here, you just want to measure kind of you know the width and length of everything so that when you're cutting your wood for the actual obstacle, you don't mess up and make things too shorter. Alright, so now you just want to make uh, your kind of incline and decline bits. I'm not really sure what to call them, but um, you got to kind of cut diagonal, so I'm just making a mark for the center. Uh, look, I did not do this with precision. Uh, I was very, very new to anything like this, so nothing's accurate, but I made it work. Uh, you don't have to be accurate. So yeah, um, I, I started this off with a handsaw. That's all you really need to complete this project. Yes, it will take longer. So I ended up actually getting myself some power tools because I was sick of using the handsaw. But you could complete this whole project with a handsaw. So here, I'm just trying to accurately, not really accurate, but trying to uh, mark out where I need to cut. And yes, it was not accurate, but we made it work. Alright, so once you've cut these pieces of wood that we were just talking about, you get something that looks like that. And so I've just glued them together at the top. Uh, if you wanted something that was a bit more durable, you could put a screw or nail through. Um, so yeah, that my original plan was to, like, just to begin with, was to nail it down to the pallet. Uh, but that ended up being a bit too tricky for me because I am a beginner. But So I glued it down ended up looking like this. Uh, later on, I did put a screw through it to make it very sturdy. But yeah, get yourself just any wood glue works fine. Um, so just here, I'm just showing kind of the general idea of the whole thing. It'll make more sense, obviously, once we start putting the wood on. So I ended up putting the second one on in the night time. It did take me a while. Uh, so 
this was just how I was cutting it. So the red line's obviously taking the circular saw along it. Circular saw made it a heck of a lot easier than the hand saw, I'll tell you that. But yeah, you could do that with a hand saw. So you do need a fair amount. Um, from memory, the little wood sticks were about 410 millimeters. So then that's a bit of a progress. And you just nail one side in and you get something that looks like that. Really simple and really fun. I'll show you a few clips of my RC car going over it. So I have quite a big RC car, so it's a bit trickier just with the old with the the wheelbase and stuff like that and departure angles, but look I still had heaps of fun with it. I know you'll have heaps of fun with it. Um would definitely be great with a smaller crawler. Um, in future I intend to take that other half of the pallet and kind of extend the current obstacle into having four humps. So yeah, look for a future video on that. I'll possibly do that. So yeah, this obstacle really tests the grip of your tires, the flex of your car, and your like overall line choice. It's quite a diverse obstacle. So if you don't have an obstacle like this, I would highly recommend spending the time finding a free wooden pallet and creating this obstacle. This obstacle looks great. It is a challenge. And if your car is anything like mine, it'll create a lot of body scrub. So I do have a clip here without the body on. And it's definitely performed pretty well without the body. Um, and saying that, still, my car still went alright. So yeah, I'm sorry I didn't get to kind of capture every important detail in the making process of this. Uh, it was a bit difficult. I've only got my iPhone. But yeah, um, if you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. I appreciate you all. Thank you for watching.